The matter has finally come to an end, but we mustn't lower our guard. Increase patrols around Chingsa Village and coordinate our people at other fireworks locations to prevent any further theft. Yes, Lady Kaching. And by the way, the Ministry has requested the Millilith to increase security along travel routes. How is that proceeding? It's all been taken care of. However, due to various reasons, there are still some blind spots in the city. Have we drafted a new patrol map? Please, give me a copy and I'll look it over when I have time. Understood. The patrol map is still being drafted, but it will be ready soon. Okay. Also, I... Oh, excuse me, Lady Kuching? Your friends are here. Hi, Kuching! Still working? Are we going to see the fireworks? Oh, yes. But I thought we'd meet at the Jade Chamber. Why have you come here? Yeah! We walked around the city just like you told us to. It's very nice. But it would be even nicer if you could join us. Do you still have work to do? It's nothing urgent, really. Just some trivial matters. But I wish to get it done as soon as possible. You can leave it to us, Lady Kuching. You've been working hard for a long time, so you should get some rest. If I'm not mistaken, the Traveler is here to remind you to take a break. That's right! Something so important that we must speak with you personally, right now! Oh, really? In that case... Jingcheng, I'll let you take charge. Thank you. Understood. I'll handle things from here. <sighs> Traveler and Paimon, let's go to the Jade Chamber. The view there is nicer and it's much more private. Perfect for talking. <laughs> Well, here we are. What was it you wanted to talk about? Yeah, we want to tell you a story from this beautiful view. What do you say? All right, I'm listening. So it turns out we just heard some big news into that. A very talented chef is in trouble. Oh, is the chef from Liyue? From Liuli Pavilion or Shinua Kiosk, perhaps? No, no, uh, the chef is from... Mondstadt, yeah, and he's really, really good. He had a restaurant right next to the city gate. He was super efficient, and his cooking was really delicious, so his restaurant had been getting more and more popular. In fact, he became so busy that the worker from the florist next door asked him, Sir, why don't you find someone to help you in the restaurant? But the chef brushed the idea aside, saying that he's the only one that can turn top quality ingredients into world-class dishes. No one could help him. Hmm. Well, confidence is an essential trait for a good chef. He must be an excellent cook. That's what everyone was saying. But surprisingly, after just six months, no one would dine in his restaurant anymore. Hmm? Shocking, right? Do you have any guess why? Hmm... Maybe the chef had fallen ill, or...? Eh! Wrong answer! You tell her, Traveler! Yep, it's because the chef was too stubborn. He would keep himself busy every day and try to make the most delicious dishes for all his guests. But he forgot that he's only human and needs time to eat and rest. He was so busy that he didn't even have time to eat and couldn't even taste his own cooking. He was unwilling to seek help, even when he's tired, because he thought he's the only one capable of cooking the best dishes. Eventually, the people around him felt like they couldn't help him anyway, so they just left. And because he had forgotten the original taste of his dishes, he was no longer a good chef. In the end, his restaurant had no choice but to close for good. Uh, oh. I see. 
He's overly confident, which disappoints the people around him, and he's so impatient that he ends up losing sight of his original purpose. <sighs> so, that's the whole story? Oh! Um... Yep, that's the whole thing! Hey! Didn't you just say that Paima made a great story? Hmm? Hmm? Uh, did you come up with that story? Oh! Uh, no! We just... Uh... <laughs> hmm... How should I describe it? The story is very simple, and I suppose the ending isn't really surprising. Think before you act and don't overexert yourself. Of course, I understand these concepts in theory, but... When tasks come to me personally, it is easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. Yes. Up in the mountains, we can see the mist in the clouds. Out in the ocean, we can see fog on the sea. That's why, from time to time, we need to examine where we are, remove the fog, and feel our heart. So, how do you feel now, Kuching? How do I feel? Hmm... Deep down inside, I wish I could slow down time. That way, I could finally take the opportunity to walk around the city, see the people I wish to see, and watch the fireworks. Thinking back, I used to be even more impatient. My colleagues would resign after just three months of working with me. You're completely right. It's important to know your boundaries. Uh, but I am getting better. You can tell, can't you? And... I did make a promise with you, didn't I? We agreed to enjoy the fireworks show together this year. So... Happy Lantern Rite, Traveler and Paimon. I'm very happy to be here and enjoy this moment together with you. I've poured all my best effort into this fireworks show. And now that we're here, I sincerely hope you will enjoy it. I feel very fortunate to be right here, enjoying the fireworks, and enjoying the view of Liu Harbor. Happy Lantern Rite. <laughs> Happy Lantern Rite. And... Thank you. The item Lady Ningguang prepared for you has arrived. Traveler, wait here for a moment. Don't go anywhere. Huh? Must be something important. Ningguang had her personal tailor make it for me, said it's an imported style. Well, do you like it? Wow, it's beautiful! <laughs> it's time. Traveler, please enjoy the grand finale of this year's Lantern Rite. The fireworks show. Check you out. Looking pretty fancy. Only a true treasure catches the eye of Captain Beto. Seems I've struck gold with this one.
there, a firework that looks just like a pig! So it does. Better way to celebrate. <laughs> <sighs> Dr. Baiju, sorry to trouble you again this year. <laughs> no trouble at all. Lantern right. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Happy Lantern <laughs> Right! What did you think of this year's fireworks display? I just hope this festival can be everything that people want it to be. Really? Uh, I hope you're not just saying that to reassure me. I want you to be straight with me if you have any suggestions. <clears throat> anyway, if you have any time during the festival, take a look around the city. There's a lot to see, but it won't last, so make the most of it. <sighs> if only I had a little more free time. I'd love to take you around and show you everything we did to make the city look special during the festival. Timing. Let me make some space for you. There. <sighs> Look, isn't that an amazing view? <sighs> I can never get tired of it. Yep, I got a letter from my dad. He said all is well with him and mom on their travels and wished me and Granny a happy lantern ride. So typical of my dad. He wrote the exact same thing last year. It's like his go-to lantern ride greeting. But hey, I guess he doesn't overthink these things, and that's where I get my carefree side from too. Look at me, I've taken a few days vacation just so I can enjoy the view. Oh, this reminds me, I should mention you when I write back. When you meet interesting new people, you've got to share it with your family.
Well, hello there. A happy and healthy lantern right to you. And what brings you here on this finest of days? Not business, I presume. So what is it? Need my help? Oh, I see. So you just missed me all of a sudden? Oh, you? Why'd you have to go and be so thoughtful, hmm? I couldn't possibly bring myself to scare you with a ghost story now. To tell the truth, this lantern rite's been a busy one for me. I got Xiangling to give me a few recipes, and I've been trying my hand at them. Since you're here, why don't you have a taste? W what's that look for? You're not leaving already, are you? Oh, come on, don't go. I promise they don't taste that bad. And I promise it's not a prank. We meet again, Traveler. What a rare opportunity to meet with you here in Liyue during this finest of festivals, as busy as you are on your travels. As you can see, I'm ambling the streets at my leisure, enjoying the sound of people chattering and birds chirping. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has been somewhat idle as of late, so I am presently unoccupied. When the Director is out visiting friends, I take the opportunities to head out myself. Habit dictates that my first port of call is here, where I order myself a pot of tea and listen to the storyteller. At festival times, the storyteller will always select a few new passages that complement the spirit of the season. Most are variations on existing legends or accounts from folk history. Their historicity is questionable at times, but it is their entertainment value that makes them an excellent choice for the festive period. <laughs> Then it seems you are becoming rather familiar with the storyteller at this establishment. Time marches forward relentlessly. People change. Traditions change. Lantern Rite is no exception. In times of old, Liu was constantly at war. People lit lanterns and sent them into the sky to help guide the warriors on the distant front back to their home. Today we live in a time of peace and the custom of releasing lanterns has become ceremonial in nature. For the people of Liu, the ritual of lighting lanterns every year symbolizes the undying spirit of heroism. The things that refuse to be shaken by the passage of time, those are Liu's roots. Traveler, I hope that you are able to celebrate the lantern rite together with the people of Liu. Plans. Not a notion that can be easily applied to me anymore. I am a man of leisure. I simply go wherever I am inclined, wherever that may be. Although, now that you mention it, yes, I should make the most of this festive period by venturing to parts of Liu that lie beyond the harbor. I began with tea at third round knockout today. Perhaps tomorrow I shall try somewhere else in the near vicinity. It is quite a joy to be idle and explore this bustling city at my leisure. Listen, let me tell you how. Cheap and tasty chop suey! Okay, so we have one group booked for two tables for a banquet tomorrow night, and another group who needs their order delivered around the same time. Whew. Oh, hey! Happy Lantern Rite! Could be worse, could be worse. Festivals are always a little busy, you know how it is. If you're craving anything off the one-min menu, don't worry about being a burden. However busy it gets, I'll always make time to cook for you. Wow. Okay. So, oh, hey! Happy Lantern Rite! <laughs> Aw, thanks for asking! If you're craving anything off the one min me
I didn't expect to run into you in Chingsa Village of all places. Thanks for your concern. I'm touched. A few days ago, Granny Roshin invited me to come out here and give a performance. It's mostly old folks and children who live out this way, so I didn't know whether it would be to their tastes. But everyone seemed to enjoy it, so I'm very- She was a famous opera singer in her youth, too. She's still got it if you ask me. In show business, while you're on stage, you constantly have to be in control of everything you're doing to manage your image. So when you're off stage, it's a relief to finally loosen up a little. I have some excellent tea here. Would you care to stay for some refreshments before you depart? Watching the Shao Lanterns from the village is quite a unique experience in its own right. If you'd like, I can tell you all about it. Everything that's happened on the way here, I feel like we're forgetting something. Changyun, just look at the stunning scenery of Chingsa Village. If I could sum it up in one word, would you say exquisite does it justice? I think that. Uh, I remember now. What about the demons? Quick, Singcho, get the ancient text out. There isn't a moment to lose. Careful now, Changyun. Let's not rush into this. Just as tea is to be imbibed one sip at a time, these things must be done step by step. If we are too hasty and end up with enemies on all sides, even we, with our level of martial prowess, may find ourselves overpowered. Hmm. You do have a point. All right then. I'll take you at your word. Again. Excellent. Now then, what was I talking about? Huh. Now I've lost my train of thought. Help me, Chongyun. What was I saying? Uh... I've forgotten, too.
Happy Lantern Rite. How have you been recently? I hope everything's going well for you. Don't be like me, worrying all the time. Oh, uh, it's nothing though. Just, as you can see, there's a lot going on during the Lantern Rite, and I was originally supposed to head back to Eugene Terrace to assist with the preparations. However, Lady Ningguang urged me to take a proper vacation. She said that there's nothing so urgent that it can't wait, and that this festival is a time to reconnect with friends and family. But if I really spent this vacation with Cloud Retainer, it wouldn't be long before she started asking me, How has your career developed this year? Any new crushes one should know about? <laughs> what? Don't you start that as well? <sighs> Besides that, I do feel better getting some of this off my chest. So, thank you for being here and listening to me. Here. I'm guessing this lantern ride is the same as every year. The demons have retreated, and the humans are safe and well. If Pervasi's knew, it would be a lifelong wish come true for him. I trust you're not here to invite me to watch the fireworks in the city. I think I'll be fine right here. As long as the fireworks fly high enough, you can see them from wherever you are. Besides, if anyone wishes to see me, I know they'll come and find me. So whether I'm here or in the city, it makes no difference. <laughs> 